All right, we're gonna do random tumbler number two. Whoops. Um, so this is like a new series where everything is in this cup, different styles, methods, supplies, whatever. Shake it up real good. The first one was fabric, mica powders, and a mold. So this one is going to be a Milky Way. It needs to include cellophane. Ooh, I just dropped my cup. Let me just put all these in and give it a good shake. And the last. And it needs to include double-sided tape. All right. Well, let's see what we end up with because uh, this should be interesting. All right. I've spray painted my cup purple. Um, I don't know why, but I just like purple for Milky Ways. Um, and I did a dark purple, I think it's called like Grape, and it's by Rust-Oleum. Um, I grabbed uh, my wrap, my roll of cellophane paint for wrapping, and I have a bunch of different purple glitters. So I'm kind of just going to see, I think I want to do um, different textures and different uh, colors, but I'm not sure what I want. Okay, now I'm applying epoxy. I'm going to apply it all a little thicker than the epoxy method, but not much. And then I'm going to apply a little heat to help it self-level so I can apply my glitter. And now I'm gonna start applying my glitter. As it goes, I'm if I need more in that specific area, I'm gonna let the cup come back around and then apply more. And I'm gonna do this with every color. And this will um, end up giving me the nice little angles of the glitter. Then I just take it off the turner, make sure that the bottom is covered and that there's no spots missing before I put it back on the turner. After I've gone and uh, let it sit for a few hours, now I'm going to put a relatively thick coat of epoxy on it. Um, I didn't really brush off too much extra glitter because it just kind of helps soften the lines when you um, just give it a tap and you don't brush it all the extra glitter off. It just helps soften those lines. So I'm going to put on the epoxy and smooth it out over my glitter. All right, so this cup has one really thick layer of epoxy on it, so you can still feel um, some of the glitter through it, but Milky Ways tend to get really thick if you're not careful. So a lot of times when I do these, um, it's very much a trust the process kind of thing. Like when I poured the glitter on, it looked super rough, but you know, um, it has only one coat. It's a very thick coat of epoxy. Uh, mainly the coarse glitter is where you feel it the most because this is laid down pretty flat and the coarse glitter just feels coarser, I guess. So the other, so we have to do a Milky Way with double-sided tape and with um, cellophane. So now we're gonna put some cellophane and double-sided tape on this guy. And I have cellophane, I get mine. I've had this forever. Um, I think I got it at Party City maybe in the gift wrap department. I'm guessing it was from Party City. I'm pretty sure I bought it pre-COVID for my daughter's first birthday. So the whole world shut down the day after her first birthday. Um, so I'm just going to cut some off. All right, there we go. Okay. That bad boy back there is a huge wall. So I just cut some off. Um, when you have like the crinkles in it, it gives it one look versus if it's flat. Mine's just crinkled because it's been sitting in a garage forever. Because, you know, I don't, I mean, I haven't really been to a party in a hot minute, so. Um, so I'm just going to cut it. I think I'm going to cut, like, just odd-sized strips. And I'm hoping the double-sided tape will work on putting this on. We're going to find out. I'm going to crinkle it to give it, like, a nice little texture. And that might be too big. Let's see. I think, it's gonna, I think we're going to do smaller pieces. Let's do really small pieces. I really like the width of our double-sided tape. And the double-sided tape I'm using is clear. Um, it's not like the foam kind because it's a foam kind. So there's, I have different kinds, but this foam kind that's like thicker is white. So you'd see that underneath. So I'm going to be using clear double-sided tape. And I think I'm just gonna kind of Stick it in random places. Let's see. Just like a random square of double-sided tape. Okay, we're gonna do this. 
All right, let's pull this off. I almost wonder if I should do like squares of it. Let's put a stripe and see if we like it. And if we don't like it, we can change it. I could probably have like a piece of like black paper down because it makes it easier to see the cellophane okay so here's my piece here's some double-sided tape I'm gonna push down real hard so there's like no air bubbles in my double-sided tape let's remove this bad boy and it's clear you can't really see it take my cellophane I'm gonna start at the bottom where I put it here oh yeah that holds nice and then I'm going to kind of just mush it because I want it to have some texture. And I think it's going to look really cool once we put the other stuff on. And if it doesn't look cool, I'll strip it. Okay, let's cut this off. I think these scissors are on their way out. Okay. The only thing is I worry about with the epoxy getting underneath it. So I might have to like, as much as I hate Mod Podge, maybe put a coat of Mod Podge on to like seal it. So let's put a couple more pieces in random places. I should probably cut more before I do that. All right, so we have a bunch of cellophane on here along with our glitter. I have more yet? No, go be quiet and I'll give you more. All right, just trimming up like whatever loose pieces are on there. Um, I think to keep from having issues with epoxy getting underneath this, I think I'm gonna seal it with Mod Podge. I think it's gonna be my best option. So let's get the devil's glue going. All right, let's get I'm not a fan of the Maj Podge, but we do what we gotta do. All right, let's get a Mod Podge brush out that I've been keeping drying out. And since I'm using Mod Podge, I won't be able to epoxy. Um, I won't epoxy this for at least like 12 to 24 hours because I want it to be completely dry so I don't get any weird like white spots on it on it. I am I am so not a Mod Podge person. I hate this stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of spread it on and hopefully it'll seal it up a little bit. I don't know if this is even gonna work. But, I mean, if I was gonna apply cellophane to a cup, I would use epoxy so that all the pieces go down. So I'm not really sure what the best option is gonna be for this. So we're gonna try Mod Podge um, to seal it down. I'll probably put a couple of coats and um, see if that works. And then um, if it doesn't, 
maybe I'll do a very, very, very thin layer of epoxy um, and just try to like use it to like stick it, stick other parts of it down. I don't know. We're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. So I'm going to kind of let that sit and dry and I'll probably do at least one more, if not two more coats. Um, and then we'll give it time and epoxy. All right. This only has one coat of Mod Podge on it because I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I got busy. It's held it down pretty well. Um, I think the that if I do a super thin layer of epoxy on this, I can probably get all of this to push down and not have much of an issue. Um, it's dried overnight, and I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a really thin layer of epoxy. Let me see if I can cut this piece off. It's just sticking up randomly. And um, just get it to go down and then uh, move on from there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like the hang method on it and just uh, hope for the best. Okay, after I let that one thin layer dry, I'm going to now apply a layer of epoxy. I don't want it too thick um, because I don't want it to move my mica powder now around too much heat to help it level out and to make it just a little bit more. Uh, now I'm mixing over the leftover epoxy with different mica powders so that I could put the um, mica powder epoxy mixtures on so my now cup I'm putting and make it look the like a uh, mica powder epoxy mixture on and I'm using my finger to just. Uh, spread it out and give those nice, nice faint Milky Way lines. And I'm going to do this with the different colors. In between colors, I wipe my gloved finger off with a um, baby wipe so that I don't mix them too much. And I will hit it with some heat just to kind of help them flow a little bit more. Um, I end up realizing that I don't like the direction they're going, so then I use my fingers to actually get them to go the opposite direction, and you'll see that in just a minute. See, now I'm going the opposite direction with them because I just decided I wanted them to go the same way as my glitter swirl. Now to add a little bit more depth, I'm going in with gold alcohol ink and I'm just swiping that down and blending it in. Um, the alcohol ink has a different weight than the mica powder, so it gives it a little bit more depth and a little bit more of a more dimensional look. 
After letting my epoxy cure for about four hours, I decided that I really didn't like how rough the lines looked with the cellophane. So I went in, I had put another coat of, um, a thin coat of epoxy, and I'm going in with some white micas mixed in and a little bit thicker with a, just a drop of acrylic paint just to give it another layer and a little bit more um, opaqueness so that you don't see the harsh lines of the cellophane. All right, our Milky Way is done. Um, you, it's, the cellophane is underneath the Milky Way. I didn't like the way the edges looked from the cellophane. So it's kind of hidden, but it still gives it a pretty shine. So we'll pull more stuff and see what our next cup looks like.